Hi, we're Team Manageables, and this is our project. Our team members are Jacob, Derek, Tao, Emma, Nicole, and Nicoletta. We have worked together on all of our projects so far, and have collaboratively put this video together. We hope that it will do a fantastic job in surmising our television show and giving you an idea of just what we plan on doing for the rest of the semester. Our project features new characters, an original situation, and problems that represent the new and changing world that we find ourselves in today. We hope you will enjoy and are genuinely interested in seeing the rest of our development process. Now without further ado, let's get right into it. Starting off with an overarching description of the show itself. Filmco is a video rental store that is quickly and consistently losing its customer base due to different ways customers can view movies. Therefore, Filmco is faced with the decision of what needs to be done to keep the company operating and profitable. Ryan is unsure if modernizing the business would help. However, after hearing from Stacy, an employee, about her idea to create a streaming service, he agrees. Filmco must modernize. After some strategic planning, Filmco is able to create a streaming service to make them competitive and profitable again. There will be five short video clips. They will follow Ryan and the other employees through their daily work, showing how they manage their slowing business and employee relations. These episodes will also display what actions they take to improve profits. Our target audience are smaller companies who need help with how to modernize their business and ultimately compete with an ever-changing market. It is also for employees to see the different management skills needed to be successful in a business. Ryan is a successful businessman in his late 40s to early 50s. This success has come via the perfection of a business model he has operated since the mid-1980s. This focus and dedication has cost him a connection with the ever-evolving video entertainment industry. Resolute in his resolve, change is hardly his friend. Understanding yet firm, he appreciates input from his employees, but ultimately, Ryan knows best. Stacy is a freshman in college. She's a glass-half-full kind of person. She's not the perfect student by any means, but she has found that self-application and adaptability is usually the best way to pull through a tough situation. Constantly looking for a new way to attack problems, she wants to have a career in the film industry. Her short time at Filmco has already presented an opportunity, at least in her mind, to prove her mettle and show how helpful she can be. Fun and inquisitive, Stacy tries to be the best problem solver she can be. Chad is the man's man. He just can't fail. His three-year tenure at Filmco has lent him Ryan's trust. Stacy's boyfriend since high school and the envy of most of his peers. He doesn't have too many opportunities to make decisions in life, but when he's made to, his choices are always swift and absolute. Stubborn and firm, he is confident that the nature of his beliefs provide the very bedrock upon which his life is built. Carlos is the very definition of a class clown. He is driven by little other than a good laugh. Even in inappropriate situations, he's always got a one-liner up his sleeve. Perhaps this is why he's the cashier for Filmco, with very little hope of promotion. His light and carefree nature sometimes puts him on Ryan's bad side. Carlos is constantly in reach of the center of attention. Quick-witted and juvenile, Carlos just loves a good laugh. Episode 1. The characters arrive on a perfectly normal day working at Film Co. This episode focuses on the actual personality traits of the characters as well as giving the viewer an idea of what Film Co. is. Their personalities play a huge role in exploring management techniques in the upcoming episodes. The concept of this episode is to highlight and reveal the characters through natural conversations. This will foreshadow the contributions that the characters make at Film Co. Episode 2. In this episode, Ryan notices that his company, Film Co., is dropping in revenue. Stacy then offers an idea that seems like a long shot, but highlights how a strategic approach can help them achieve the given idea. The concept of this episode is to show the true manager in Ryan, how open Ryan is to new ideas from his employees. This will continue to build the plot of future episodes, directing the audience to wonder how this will resolve. Asking what the game plan or strategic approach might be, the audience's curiosity will build. Stacy's new proposal for the direction of Film Co. is better outlined. She calls a meeting with the other employees, Chad and Carlos, to brainstorm the best possible approach. During this meeting, she finds that working with others isn't as easy as it seems. Toward the end of the episode, she presents her idea to Ryan. We will earn Stacy's true managerial capabilities here. She uses one of the most interpersonal skills that every manager needs, and that is communication. This episode will further show how difficult employees can either bring out the best professional manager in Stacy, or the opposite. 
Episode 4. Ryan's personal reflection on Stacy's proposal plan to get Filmco back on track is exemplified here. He begins to work through the pros and cons through an extensive exercise in decision making. Ryan performs an SWOT analysis and begins developing the best possible outcomes. This will be the climatic point of our series. The audience is anticipating what Ryan's conclusion will be, which isn't quite revealed until the next episode. More importantly, we want the audience to see how a strategic approach in decision making is important enough to be the make or break in Film Coast's future. The conclusion to our series. We'll jump to Ryan standing in front of a conference room before a few cameras, press, customers, and employees to reveal Film Co. streaming. Here we are delivered a speech from Ryan where he recognizes his success and accomplishments due to his employees. He closes with delivering positive feedback and bonuses to each employee. The positive aftermath will show the importance of strategic decision making, tactics used, and how the WSOT analysis can work in any situation. We are also shown how teamwork can really make a dream work, especially through strong and humble management. I believe that we, the Manageables, will be able to present and create a well-organized TV show that helps the audience discover key decision-making strategies. As a result, we will show how teamwork in our own strategic decision-making can result in an amazing TV show. We have assigned each person in the group a task that reflects their skill inventory. This will be the best possible presentation for our project. We have planned five of our episodes so far and have created a flip camera challenge for two of them. Derek has outlined the episodes. Tao has drawn the illustrations for the videos, and Jacob has done the voiceovers. Nicoletta, Emma, and Nicole have participated by adding information to the PowerPoint slides and editing content. For the midterm presentation, Nicoletta, Emma, and Nicole have put together the PowerPoint presentation. Tao and Derek wrote a script, and Jacob did the voiceover. Over the remainder of the semester, Team Manageable will be completing all of the additional modules, and we will work toward the completion of our final booklet, television show, and presentation. In conclusion, throughout this course, we have learned many managerial concepts and have been able to apply them easily to our episodes. Seeing as we have a lot of work ahead of us, the necessary roles and jobs will be equally divided weekly amongst all the members of the group according to their abilities and previously completed jobs. We hope that we will be very successful and plan on having a fully developed television show by the end of the semester. Collectively, Team Manageable has learned how to work together on this project. Early on, we were able to agree on a platform on which to communicate. Since then, we have used Skype once every Saturday and Monday to figure out our plans for the week and to make sure that we're staying on track for the week. While it is difficult at times, we do our best to ensure that we stay in contact with each other and work around everybody's busy schedules, and when necessary, we each make sure to keep the entire group updated on any developments or changes to our own personal line of work that week. Thus concludes our midterm presentation. Thank you for watching. We here at Team Manageables hope that by the time we're finished, you will thoroughly enjoy the show and have fallen in love with our characters. Our story might be simple, but it relays important and critical managerial topics and covers the ways that managers and employees interact and how they can influence one another. So once again, thank you for watching and goodbye.